Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, Luis. How are you? Welcome, Andrea. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Andrea Esmeralda. Hello, Byron. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Nuria. How are you? Hello, Maria Hello. Delmi. Hello, Maria Delmi. Hello, Martin. Welcome, guys. How are you today? How do you feel today? It's Thursday, the second week is finished. How did you feel this week? Great. Okay, did you learn anything? Yes, we learned a little bit about some topics. Okay. Can you give me some examples? What did you learn? I learned about nouns and how to use to um, wishes, I think. Wishes, wishes. Can you give me an example wishes. of expressing a wish, somebody? I wish I had a lot of money. All right, I wish I were a billionaire because a millionaire is too boring. I wish I were a billionaire. All right. I wish I were a billionaire. I wish I were a billionaire. Good, good. Hey, Maria, can you tell me a wish? Uh, I wish uh, I had trouble. I okay. wish I had trouble. Why do you want trouble? Uh -uh. Trouble. trouble. Oh, oh, I wish I could travel. Yeah. And where do you want to go? Uh, first, Mexico. Mexico, why? Cancun, Mexico. Why Cancun? I like Do you like Mexican food? Yeah, I like. What kind of Mexican tacos. food do you like? Tacos. Okay. Okay. Gringas. Gringas. Chimichangas. Chimichangas. <laughs> do you know what is a chimichanga? Uh, no. A chimichanga is very similar to a burrito, oh, ex yeah, yeah, yeah. except yeah. that they fry it. They make the burrito, and then they fry, fry. the burrito. They fry the tortilla. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, Byron, can you give me a, a wish? Hello? Can you give me an example of a, a wish? A wish. A wish? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, uh, you don't understand the wish? We don't know. The sales. The sales. Do you remember we were saying, for example, I wish I were a millionaire. I wish I were rich. I wish I had a Lamborghini. Oh, yes. Uh, I wish um, travel for the world. Ah, okay. You want to go to China? No, uh, maybe Japanese. Japan. Japan. Okay, okay. The land of the nuclear bomb explosions. <laughs> In Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Yeah. <laughs> World War Two. Yeah. <laughs> Luis, tell me, Luis, can you give me a wish? Uh, 
Hi. Hey, maybe I wish I spoke English fluently. Fluently, okay. I wish I spoke English fluently. That's good. Um, okay, I but you gotta you gotta practice. You gotta practice. Maybe I wish I had a another car. All right. Okay. What kind of car do you wish you had? Maybe um Suzuki Samurai, you know? <laughs> yeah, four by four. Or or more maybe uh Wrangler. Wrangler Jeep. Okay. Jeep. So you like heavy duty cars. Is because I wish I wish I go go to Pital with my family. Ah, okay, El Pital. Okay, okay. My, have have you been to El Jardín de los Cien Años? No. Have you been to Monte Cristo? No. Oh, it's Sorry, beautiful. No. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. I, I recommend. I recommend you take time. It's a movie. It's a movie, or no, no. no. Or, it, uh, it's it's like it's like El Pital, Monte Cristo. It's yeah. like El Pital. It's a camping place in the mountains. It's, it's very beautiful. At night, you can hear the coyotes. You can see the you can see the armadillos. Yeah. Maybe it's a dangerous. <laughs> a, a little bit. <laughs> it's a little scary. It's a little scary because you you only see the the eyes in the darkness in the camping site. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, because the animals, the people, they do like a barbecue. So the animals, they they can smell the food. Uh huh. But nothing happens. I remember when I went, nothing happened. Okay, uh, Rebecca, can you give me a wish? I wish travel for the world. Okay, I wish I could travel around the world. I wish I could travel around the world. What country do you want to visit? Uh, what country do you want to visit? Um, um, Korea. Korea? Why? Yeah. Why? Um, um, the food, the food Korean. Mm -hmm. Korean food? Uh-huh. Yes, Korean food. Sushi. Uh, pulpo. Octopus. Oh, yes. O octopus. Okay, okay. Excellent. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. I would like for us to move forward. We already finished section one and section two and almost all of section three. So today, I want us to go ahead and uh, continue working from the platform, but I want us to look at the midterm exam. Did everybody finish the midterm exam? Yes. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah, you. Okay, we're gonna check it together. Let's look at the first section. The first section in the midterm exam is listening activity. In the listening activity, we're going to be looking at listen to the conversations, check the correct answers, instructions. Escuche las conversaciones, marque las respuestas correctas. So let's listen to the conversations and then we will check the activity.
Can you hear? Can everybody hear? Units one to two quiz. Can you hear? Can everybody yeah. hear? Yes, teacher. Listen to the okay. conversations. Yeah, yeah. Check the correct okay, okay. answers. One. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect old black and white photographs. Three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. Okay, let's check. Let me have Maria, Maria Delmi. Let me have number one. And number one is uh, uh, Tom grew up in San Francisco. Grew, grew. Grew up, grew up, yeah. Okay. San Francisco. All right, Luis, number two. Uh, read comic book. No, I want you to read the sentence. Oh, sorry. Carol used to. Carol used to read comic books. Excellent. I used to read uh, X Men comic books. Do you know X-Men comic books? Uh, I is no read no only movie. Ah, okay. When I was a teenager, I used to buy a lot of comic books: Spider-Man, X-Men, Wolverine. Yeah. It's more large yeah. uh, comics, right? It's more large. I like ten pages, more or less. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, Martin. Okay. According to Helen, there isn't a no parking downtown. Excellent. There isn't enough parking downtown. Do you know what is downtown? El Centro. El centro, the business area, is downtown. Number four, Nuria. 
Anna can join a carpool by calling a phone number. Calling a phone number. Do you know what is a carpool? Mm -hmm. Yes. He's going in group to some place. Uh -huh. in, That's right. In one car. In one car. In one car. Uh huh. Hey, I remember a long time ago when I was like 15 years old in Houston. I was living in Houston, Texas. And uh, they, the city, invented uh, a car lane on the highway only for carpool. Uh, so there was a man that he, he would drive in the carpool section every day, right? You had to pay like $2, but it was faster to travel on the carpool lane. And uh, one day, the security, he noticed that the passenger, because you couldn't drive on this lane if it was only one person in the car. It was, it had to be two or more people in the car in order for you to be able to travel on the carpool lane. Yeah. And uh, one day, the security guard, he, he noticed that the passenger in this particular car, never said hi, always had the same clothes. Uh, so he reported the car. So the one day the police stopped the guy and they said, hey, uh, what's going on? We want to check your car. And then they, they opened the car and the man had a, a mannequin uh, inside the car <laughs> to to make it look like it was more than one person. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was a carpool, so they gave him five hundred dollar ticket. You. Yeah, I imagine he never traveled in the carpool lane like that again. <laughs> Teacher, you you living in living. Live in United States. Yeah, all my life, all my life, uh, I studied elementary school in Houston, uh, middle school in Houston, and uh, high school in Houston, and university in San Antonio. All right. Houston is hot. Oh, cold. Yeah, Houston is is very hot it's it's like a desert because it is it's desert yeah yeah houston is very humid the heat uh, your like when you touch your face is sticky because it's it's a humid hot it's not like el salvador it's a tropical hot because we have a lot of trees we have the Pacific Ocean, volcanoes, lakes, rivers, lagoons. We have a lot of trees and nature. So El Salvador has tropical heat. Yeah. But Texas, Texas is like a dry heat. Desert. Desert heat. Yeah. It's horrible. Oh. That's why when I came to El Salvador, I was with hearts in my eyes because, you know, I had never uh, seen a volcano. I had never seen uh, a lagoon, you know. I had been to the beach because in Houston, we have Galveston Beach. Yeah, Galveston, yeah. Uh, I had been to the rivers, Magnolia River. I had been to several rivers in Houston. Um, I had never been to a lake until I came to El Salvador. I had never eaten anonas because they don't exist in Houston. Um, oh, I remember the first time I ate jocotes. <gasps> oh my God. They bought 
brought uh, a big bucket of jocotes. So I was like, mm, this is delicious. Yeah. This is so delicious. So I, the corona. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I was eating, I was eating jocotes and then uh, my digestive system wasn't used to this fruit. Uh, so I had diarrhea for like two days because of all the jocotes. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I was on the micro, uh, the micro bus, you know, uh, for me, it was like a party, you know, because in San Salvador, when you go on the micro bus, they got reggaeton, they got, you know, music and, 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 and people get on the bus selling food, you know? So for me, I was like, oh my God, look at this. It's like a carnival. So I was on the bus dancing, uh, eating, eating tostadas, eating everything on the bus. And then my stomach oh, again, right? <laughs> you know, because in Houston, you can't do that, right? In Houston, you go on the bus You know, silence, eh, no food, it's boring. So, you know, to me, it was a, a, a new thing. Yeah. <laughs> El Salvador was exciting for me. <laughs> you know, I go to the beach, I go to El Volcan quickly. You know, some people used to say, where are you going? Eh, soy Apango. Oh my God, that's far. Really? I, I used to say, really? And then we would go yeah. to Soyapango, and I was like, hey, bro, this is not far. Yeah. You know, because in Houston, far is far because Texas yeah. is big. But the know? traffic is hard. Yeah, yeah, the traffic here it is, is it's really heavy. Yeah, it's, 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 there's more traffic here. But I'm saying distance, you know. Uh, for people in El Salvador, from San Salvador to Santa Tecla is far. From San Salvador to Soyapango is far. But for me, it's yeah. like, and that's nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, any questions right now? Any questions at this moment? No, teacher. no, teacher. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. All right. Let's look at the next one. Okay. Use the past tense. I'm going to give you about three minutes. About three minutes. So you can work with your groups. I'm going to let you show your screen and I want you to do the activity together and then we're going to check. Ready, let's go.
instructions, complete, complete the conversations, use the past tense and make vamos, sure not to a, use. Vamos a regresar ahorita al, al grupo, ya todos los tres minutos. Ah, ok. Eh, este, en la, en la, quiero ver uno, en el de use to, es el que no puedo hacer yo la segunda parte. Ah, the next. Ajá, sería la siguiente, ¿verdad? La cuarta, que uno, dos, tres, ajá. Esta. Uh -huh. Quiero ver. No, it's not this one. No, es el cuarto, el cuarto, el cuarto. Este, cabal. Use to, solo use to. Ajá. <risa> uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Okay. Solo que no me ha salido para que me salga. Ajá, a mí también. Eh, no, no me lo hagas así. Ajá, a mí tampoco. Okay, Pero como lo tienes. Ah, es user, tú. En past, user, tú. Um, ok. Uh, maybe with the next. I'm going to read. Ok. Hoy sí me lo va a dar. Ok. Instruction. Choose the best word to complete the sentence. Every summer, Sam uses. Use, use, What do you say this word? Use. Interesting. ¿Cuál estás Use. trabajando? Es la tercera del del mid mid the okay, okay. What Shoes. do you say this word? Use use. Use to. Use to. Use to. Okay. Every summer Sam used to go mm -hmm. to the to the beach with his friends. And second, I really enjoy playing playing chess when I was a teenager. And third, yes. it has some unusual pets, including a rabbit and a snake. And a snake. A teenager. And uh, the number second, the, the last teenager. word is teenager. Teenager. Is mm -hmm. Sima, John, de, John. John or teen? No? Hmm? Is I'm hmm. a, a teen or young? Teenager. Is I'm, is I'm, o sea, a es igual, o sea, joven, adolescente. Sí, okay. jóvenes. Martín, can you como, read? Como adolescentes son. Ajá. Uh -huh. Martín, can you read this part? ¿Cuál? ¿La tres? Yeah, uh, the four. Mm. Ok. Dice... Complete the conversation, use the correct form of use to and the verb being. Make sure you use correct capitalization when needed and don't use it whenever it's not necessary. Example, did you use to play basketball when you were in high school? Um, instruction, go over each good exercise and choose the best option. Number one, did you used to play soccer when you were a chi child? As you said, you say, child. 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 Como? Child. 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 Okay, number two, yes, I used to play soccer every day after school. Number three, and what thing did you use to collect? Um, number four, oh, I never, I never collect anything when I was a 
here, but now I call it postcard. Okay. Okay. Dennis, you can read this part. No. Maybe don't be here. Okay, Nuria, you want to read? Yes. Okay. okay. What are the instructions? Unscramble the sentence. They choose the best way to write the sentence. First one. Few virtual noise, there are less because in. And the answer is, there should be fewer cars and less noise. The second one. Lane should more we bicycle have. And the answer is, we should have more bicycle lane. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, before we check, I would like for us to go ahead and uh, I want you to, we're going to take the attendance. So when I say your name, please say present. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Andrea Dayanara. Present. Present. Today is the fifth. Okay, it's present. Eh, Andrea Esmeralda. Andrea Esmeralda. Eh, Andrea Esmeralda, can you hear me? Eh, okay. Absent. Angel. Angel. Uh, Angel is here? No? Okay. Angel is absent. Absent. Uh, Byron. Present. Excellent. Byron. Dennis. Present. Present. Hi, Ling. Hi, Ling. Absent. Uh, Catering. Catering absent. Kenya Roxana. Kenya Roxana absent. Kenya Yamilet. Kenya Yamilet. Absent. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Present. Maria. I'm here. Good. Martin. Present. Awesome. Moises. Moises. Absent. Nayeli. Present. Present. Nuria. Present. Good job. Rebecca. Present teacher. Awesome. Cindy. Is absent. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. La mitad de la clase. Sí me van a echar. 
Why do you think the people are absent? <laughs> they don't like English class? In the teacher. The bad teacher, huh? <laughs> Maybe they are tired. <laughs> the teacher cannot speak English. <laughs> teacher in the in the National University in, in uh, here in the in the Salvador, where um, one one uh, un alumno passed the, the class is no problem with with the with the teacher. Ah, oh, okay, okay. This is a problem with the people don't 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 want to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yes. Now with, with, with this program, eh, no. If yeah, yeah. if the teachers if the students don't come to class, in support can shut down the program. Uh, imagine right now uh, a supervisor from in support connect to the class, and he he sees only seven students, and is fourteen in the attendance. He says, Mr. Santos. Stop. We finish. Done. Shut down the course because this program is is a that is a, one of the rules that the students have to connect to the class, the the attendance and the platform. That's the the conditions for the scholarship. So. I am sad with the attendance in this class. Yesterday, the same. We had bad attendance yesterday. So it's two days with very low attendance in this class. It's not good. But well, if our sister called you, if you don't assist to the class. I'm sorry, repeat. In South in support called you <laughs> if you don't assist to the class because um i don't know if uh, where yesterday they called me if i were in the class but i was in the class ah oh, okay me too me too uh, uh, yeah. now call me and they say sorry i checked the video and you were there oh okay okay yeah, it's a big problem. It's a big problem because remember that these are scholarships. So if the students are not participating, not coming to the class, then the there's another person that can yeah. you that can use the scholarship and benefit, right? Yeah. So and so, it's right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I try to do my best. That's all I can do. You know. Teacher, but, hi. Your class is amazing. Is is good. Mm, your expressive uh, <laughs> is very cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I try to enjoy my time with my students. Uh, for me, uh, I live alone. I am here all day by myself. So, and I work online all day. <laughs> so for me, this time is to share, to, you know, uh, share, share with other people. You know, I enjoy uh, teaching with you guys, you know? Because you you give me energy, I give you energy. Uh, I enjoy my time with my students. So fantastic! Uh, I like your white shirt. The I what? Like you. I oh, like this, your 
Why, why sure? Oh, thank you, thank you. It's, uh, it was thank a you gift. In your class too. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I try to do my best. You know, when I when I come to my class, I try to be in fresh. I try to be energetic. I, I don't want to be the teacher that's like, uh, you know, I have seen videos of other teachers that I'm like, my God, this class is so boring. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to yeah. be that teacher. You know, I want my students to say, man, you know, that teacher is different. You know, his teacher, style is different. Hi. Are you teacher uh, presential? No, 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 no. Uh, I only work online. I only work online. I don't, I don't teach face-to-face uh, -face classes. Mm -hmm. And you are giving more than one class? Oh, only two classes. Uh, before this class, I have a class yeah. from eight to nine. And then I have this class, nine to 10. But that's it, only took two hours. Teacher. Hi. Yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me, Maria. Uh, maybe uh, it's the first time which I I see the teacher use the platform platform uh, used to the to the class. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, use other. Um, I don't know. All other example or other uh, because the. The class is if the class is 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 equal to the to the plat platform, it maybe is 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 boring for some people. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is that we cannot use external platforms because YouTube. Remember that the class goes on the YouTube platform. Mm -hmm. So imagine I use a platform for English for CC, for example. I use a platform. It's a problem. Imagine I use a platform, uh, Open English, for example. It's a problem. Uh, so uh, the copyrights for the platform, uh, we have to be very, very careful uh, not to use external videos, external books, external um, websites, because we have been sanctioned before, because other teachers, they show other things uh, from different creators, and then we get sanctioned for that. So that's, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. That's why we oh, have my, to. I have a question. You said that this video is on YouTube. Correct. Correct. And I can look for. Yes. I yes. send. I send every day. I send the videos to the WhatsApp group. Oh. Uh -huh. I didn't check. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Every day after class, I upload the video to YouTube, yeah. and then I pass the link to the class in the WhatsApp group. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like that, the students can review. You know, and it, it's uh, on. The, yeah, it helps. The, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is uh, weird. Have, this is weird. Uh -huh. I have a question. Yes. I have a question. You, yes. You, you say that uh, it's six, seven participants, and uh, this uh, here is 13. 13. 13. Oh, okay. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, okay. Then... Uh, no, the problem is this. The problem is this. For example, for example, let me give you an example. Eileen Lorena, right? She's right here. I can see Eileen Lorena right there. She's right there. I see it, right? Eileen Lorena Alvarez Garcia. But when I say Eileen... 
He, he didn't answer. So, so it's a verb is absent. Yeah. Uh huh. Because it's it's not yeah. present. If I yeah. say, for example, uh, Andrea Esmeralda. is absent oh eileen respond okay. hi teacher okay there you go okay now i can put present for eileen you see maybe, That's... maybe some people don't don't have a, a micro or camera teacher mm -hmm. maybe i mean there's i don't uh, believe that because one of the requirements yeah, yeah. for the yeah. for for the for the registration, you know, is internet, headset, yeah, you internet. know, you have to to apply, you have to have yeah. that. It, it's part of the curriculum. Uh -huh. yes, I'm, I'm doing it without him. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's okay. I get that's okay. my phone so I can listen very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the thing, guys, you know. It's it's a big problem. But anyway, yeah. they're going to say, Mr. Santos, you're fired. <laughs> I have a question. But for so, our, the, the teacher is okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I do it because I enjoy it, honestly. Uh-huh. Yes, me too. I enjoy, I enjoy this class because I can express myself. So I need to have more confidence and but i have one question yeah uh, we have to have our camera off or on if it's an obligation good question i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i i know the teacher has to have the camera on i know the teacher does but the students okay. I, I i don't know i think that i'm gonna ask paola maybe she can tell me but I, I don't know, honestly. Okay. Mm -hmm. But for me, for me, I prefer uh, the students have the camera on because can you imagine giving the class to a lot of black screens? Um, yes. You're only, you're talking to black screens, right? Imagine I give you the class like this. All right, guys, yes. today we're gonna be talking about, I mean, how do you feel? How do you feel if I give the class like this? A little bit boring, so, but right. sometimes. <laughs> A little bit boring. I'm entertaining. I'm entertaining. <laughs> yes, yes. We can interact. We yeah. know if you're smiling. <laughs> yes, I mean, remember yeah. that English, English is a sociable language, right? English is yes. a very, yeah. very sociable language. It's a universal language. So... Yeah, your expressions of your face, your body movements. You know, a lot of American people, they say like, yo, so anyway, I was at a party, right? And then, boom, I see this girl. And I said, hey, what's up, girl? Right? So American people talk like that. They talk with their hands. They talk with their body. They talk with their facial expressions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and check the activity before we finish because we still got to check this one. Okay, let me have number one, Maria. Section B. Uh, read the question, please. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico City. Good. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico City. Good. Number two, Martin. Uh, uh, is it? Is it uh, oh, the, sorry. Where was you born? Where the, were you the, born? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, number two, Martin. Ahorita, teacher. Mm -hmm. He's calling me, teacher. Okay.
Okay, let me have number two, Nuria. Okay. Did he study French in high school? No, he didn't study French in high school. He studied Spanish. Okay, did he study French? F-R-E-N-C-H. French in high school? No, he didn't study French in high school. He studied Spanish. Good. Uh, number three. Rebecca. <clears throat> Number three, oh. when did they graduate from, from college? B, they graduated from college in 2010. Very good, very good. Repeat. Graduated. Graduate. When did they graduate from college? They graduated from college in 2010. Good, good. All right, so number one is, were you born? Number two is, he studied French. And number three is, did they graduate? Graduate. Graduate. Mm -hmm. All right. Number three, letter C is going to be vocabulary. It's only three exercises. I would like for you to do it with your partners. And then we will check it as a class. I'm going to recreate the groups. And you will have three minutes to share and compare your exercise. One student can share the screen. Uh, and has some and and also pets in, in, including a rabbit and a snake. And a, a, a snake. Okay. Rebecca, you want real no? Uh, excuse me? You want real? Yes. Okay. You 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 can read that. Ya ya terminé ese 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 ejercicio. Sí, no, o sea, lo estamos como repasando, más bien más. Okay. 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 Every summer, number one, every summer, Sam used to go to the B 
beach with his friends. Number two, I really enjoyed playing cheese when I was a teenager. Number three, Ed had some unusual pets, including a rabbit and a snake. Okay, I'm going to read. Every summer, Sam used to go to the beach with his friends. And second, I really enjoy playing. I really enjoy playing chess when I was a teenager. Elle has some unusual, unusual, what do you say, Byron, this word? Unusual, unusual. Unusual. I don't Elle, know. Elle, Elle, Elle has, Elle has some unusual pets including a rabbit and a snake. Uh, read the next. No. Of course. Okay. okay. You, you can, maybe you can read, uh, Byron. Yes, of course. Uh, Number one. Yeah. Uh, number one. Did you used to play soccer when you were a child? And number two. Yes, I used to play soccer every day after school. Number three, and what thing did you use to call it? Number four, oh, I never anything when I was a kid, but now I call it postcard. It's done. You can read. Okay, I'm going to read. Uh, in instruction, go, go over each exercise and choose the best option. Did you used to play soccer when you were a child? Yes, I used to. Yes, I used to play soccer very every day after school. <clears throat> and what time did you use to collect? Oh, I never. All right, let's go ahead and check this activity. Uh, let me have Martin, number one. Right. Every summer, Sam used to go to the beach with his friend, friends. Good, good. Every summer, Sam used to go to the beach with his friends. Uh, number two, Rebecca. Number two, I really enjoy playing when I was a teenager. I really enjoy playing chess when I was a teenager. Very good, very good. Chess, chess. Thank you. Byron, number three. Okay. Um, and and has some unusual pets. Unusual, unusual. Unusual pets, including a rabbit and a snake. Including a rabbit and a snake. <laughs> I don't want to visit her house. <laughs> I remember one time when I was in middle school, I had a girlfriend and she told me one time, hey, come visit me uh, to my house. I said, ah, okay, I will go visit you. And then she said, do you want to see my father's pet? I said, yeah, yeah. And she 
took me to the back of her house. It was like a big garage, but there wasn't any cars in the garage. And it was dark. And I could see a big cage hanging from the center of the room. And it was covered in a black cloth. And she said, open the cloth. And I said, nah, this, nah, I told her that this looks weird. And then she says, don't be scared, don't be scared. I said, yes, I'm scared. And then she, she took off the cloth and it was a huge anaconda snake in the cage. Yeah. Crazy white boy. Yeah. Yeah. The father was a, was a crazy man. He didn't like Latinos. You know, she was a white girl. So he didn't like Latinos. So I can only imagine him giving me to the to the anaconda for, <laughs> for food. You know, I told her, I said, girl, I love you, but I gotta go. See you yeah. never. <laughs> yeah. All right, if guys. You gonna... bad? Huh? <laughs> if you was bad. No, I think I think the father was racist. He didn't like blacks, Latinos, Chinese. You know, he was just a racist person. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to stop right here. Please move forward if you can on section number four. We're going to start section number four on Monday. So I want to wish you all a happy, happy weekend. Enjoy. Get rest. And we see you Monday. Good night. Okay. Good night. We'll see you. Good night. Good night. Have a good weekend. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.